Hey folks, so uh, this is Dan Tabar of Data Realms. I am about to show you a preview of the next public uh, test build of Cortex Command. It is actually a big uh, test build for us because it's going to probably be the last test build. We've had these test builds for, oh, I don't even know how many years. We've, we've been putting them out almost uh, as soon as we could compile anything to even remotely play so uh, it's been it's been a long long road up till now and uh, the the idea is to have the last one be uh, now on June 1st uh, first and uh, then that's gonna be the last one before the 1.0 of Cortex command which is coming out in uh, sometime this summer so <clears throat> Let me just show you, I am running really low on sleep and uh, ha have not slept at all tonight. So I'm gonna be appropriately rambly. This does not apply anymore. I'm gonna change this text. Uh, it is not lacking the campaign opponents and texts in the metagame anymore, which is uh, the AI, AI campaign opponents, meaning you can play against the computer. Uh, that's a big deal and I'll show you why. Uh, now you can actually play single player and it's not supposed to do that. There we go. So I'm not going to walk around uh, talking about all the details here. I'm just going to say that we're going to choose something random. AI is going to be what we're leaving that at. And we start a game. Just show you more than talking. I'm just going to show you what, what um, how this works. So what I can do is... Uh, Select a little expedition budget here. I'm gonna scan it later, meaning whenever I actually go visit that place, it costs me some money. I end the turn. Turns out I'm only visiting this on my own here. This will actually not happen in the future. I'm gonna change this so that you don't have to do this tedious, like, oh, okay. Sort of doubt it. Anyway, so we're back. We got that site. The uh, computer picks something to ex, you know, to explore, and it uh, it was not the one, and it got it. So since I didn't contest that, it got that. So we now have a base each. That's mine. That's his. And we will continue on to the next day. That's That was the first round of the metagame that we're playing here. So it just shows where the money's coming from. I'm going to make some money off of my site. And so is he. And you see it shows us the uh, our savings are so, you know, kind of in the space station, the, the trade star. And then we get more added to our funds from our bases. So I have that much. He has that much. I will now, it's my turn again, so I'm going to build stuff here. I'm going to assign a build budget, and you can see how it corresponds with uh, my money bar here. If I you know, use all my money to build stuff at this site, then I won't have anything left to attack him with. So I'm just going to go about half seas. This is a very important, you can automatically have the design of the base be prepared for you, so you don't have to go in to design things, you don't have to go in and do all the tedious I'll just show you once, just so it, it's clear what what is involved. Uh, you would have to place your brain and start building your bunker, uh, and it's it's tedious. And I realize that, so we're just gonna have the default option be that it, it's all built for you. You can still go in and manually do things and add things and and tweak the settings or tweak the the design of the base. And it, it'll prioritize whatever you do, but when you're done and you leave this auto on, then uh, it'll it'll add stuff for you and a very cool base. Each each site has its own custom base design that you know if you pour enough defensive budget into it, it'll take up like half the site. Uh, that's the goal anyway. So it's pretty neat. You can actually let these kind of intricate things. Be taken care of by the AI. Otherwise, it's kind of boring for. Oh, 
crap. Well, I ended my turn before I <laughs> before I assigned attack budget. So see what's happening here. All that money that we assigned to our defensive budgets just got shown as being sunk into our bases. Uh, and he's attacking me. I did not attack him because I forgot to. So uh, that's fine. He's attacking my base. He's allocating 1,200 ounces of gold to do that. And this is that fight happening right now. So as you can see, these are the base pieces that I put in. These guys. And uh, there's other stuff in here, which is that automatic building of my base. So I'm going to make my brain go into a more secure location, which seems like a good idea. And there's these deployables. So it turns out I'm Ronin. And all these presets are uh, loaded from the tech module, the tech data module that. Uh, are reasonable presets. It's like medium infantry, light infantry, sniper infantry, and all these things. And some of these are zombies, meaning they're uh, they're not kind of fleshed out yet in the uh, in the Ronin tech, in this tech that I'm playing as right now. Which is uh, fine. We're gonna add the different things, but uh, for the different techs, you know, to fill them out. But the defaults are always the zombies. We call them cold clones, meaning they were kind of half-baked clones that weren't really, <laughs> really uh, properly made. So, why is this guy not obeying my orders? And so they came out as kind of like zombies, zombie-looking ghouls, like this guy. And yes, friendly fire is not possible. It's a uh, whoa. Well, I guess I take that back. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I don't know what just happened. Okay. That is fail on multiple levels. <laughs> well, my brain just was walking and then it exploded. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, is there a seam in the level here maybe or something? I don't know. That would be the only explanation I can think of. We have some problems with the physics exploding when it hits a scene. Well, anyway, the AI was landing and he was uh, he was landing his troops and stuff over here to, to invade me and kill my brain, but I did that for him, or he did it on its own. I'm just gonna quit that, I guess. Jesus. Uh, well, I lost that site. Not fairly. <laughs> but it happened. So now I do not have any bases at all. I won't have any income, which is a problem for me. I'm gonna skip that. My turn. I can only attack now. I don't have anything to spend defensive budget on, so I'm just gonna go all out. I do want to scan this site because it's unknown to me, and it would just be a black nightmare of blackness, of unknown anything. And he's pouring a lot of money into his site on both of these places, so he's building all kinds of bunkers. I'm gonna start that. Let's see how that goes. Alright, well the scanning is gonna start happening here because I ordered it. As you might recall. Okay, oh well we have some sign of a bunker here. As you can see the scan only touches the surface of the planet. Can't see into the dirt. So we can't really see what's going on here, but you can tell that there's some kind of artificial bunker going on. So I'm going to land on this next peak with my brain. And, uh, make sure he lands right there. And then start ordering the other things. So these presets are handy, so you don't have to go in and like mess with all these things. And as you can tell, the, the menus are actually collapsed now, so you can have a little more organization, but things that aren't your uh, in your tech are going to be extremely expensive. As you can see, Like these are $1,400 for a missile launcher from the Coalition, which would not be $1,400 for the, anyone who plays the Coalition. It would just be a fourth of that. So it's very important to keep that in mind. You, you should buy stuff from your own native tech or the 
trade star kind of generic tech, which is the this stuff. It's like the skeletons and the kind of crappy guns. So uh, they won't be super expensive. Let's see. Let's do the drop shop. Well, I am really, really low on funds here. <laughs> so we'll have to kind of pull off some rainbow, rainbow crap with this one guy. And the thing is that, whoa, when you fly too f <laughs> when you fly too fast, you lose control of the jetpack and it's not pretty as you can tell he, they start tumbling over and over or over end over end and it's it can end poorly which I hope is clear so you gotta be a little more careful with the flying of jetpack you gotta just like, go hypersonic with it and hope, hope for the best well there's definitely a guy up there so I'm trying to ninja into this base uh oh He's got a present for me if I open this door. That thing does spin up though, so it's really good. Woo! I need to reload. And then, let's see if I can shoot him. Yes, yes. But the AI will now also lay down, like you saw. Let's see if I can dig with my gun here. Trying to get under this door. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Crawl, crawl. Yeah, looks good. Oh yeah, it's nice. Also, locomotion has been improved. Some of you might uh, enjoy that fact. Climbing over things is a little more responsive. The guys don't typically get so bogged down. Well, as you can see, we actually have the brain right in here. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he had a guard. But <laughs> my Gatling gun took care of business. So. And I win this round. So when the brain dies, all the other guys die. As you can see, of that team. And my brain was trying to dig for gold and also protect himself by digging into the ground. So. We now won that base, which is very good for us, with that one guy. Uh, and that would be the end of that day. The AI screwed himself over a bit because he used all his money to build bases, and he didn't um, He didn't leave any money left. That's why he didn't counterattack me. He didn't call down any guys because he didn't have any funds remaining. He really should have, and I, that's something that I'm still working on. Uh, to make him a little smarter about that because whatever you don't allocate to either offensive, explicit offensive actions and uh, defensive budgets, you uh, kind of hold in reserve. So if you get attacked, you have that money in reserve or you have that money to play with when you are attacked as, as kind of like counter attack um, budget, so to speak. And uh, you can use that. So when someone attacks your base, you can, st you can in call in additional guys and, and kind of like try to take out his brain before he takes out yours which is the whole concept of this game new day day four we have found a new gold site which kind of expands the battle arena it's just a new site that we've detected from orbit uh, as having gold we are getting some very uh, much needed funds I'm not sure why he's negative here <laughs> it's not technically supposed to happen uh, something we're working on, the actual counting of the gold is a little wonky in some places still, so it's one of the things we're tightening up. This is just a preview. I mean, we're releasing this on June 1st, which is uh, two or three days away, depending on how you count, and uh, it's going to be not perfect, but it's going to be the last public test build that you can act and something you can actually play, uh, play against the AI full games you know it, it won't be completely flawless but and neither will the 1.0 by you but it's gonna be pretty good I mean I'm gonna be proud of what we're gonna have in the 1.0 as a playable full-featured game 
not necessarily bug free game, but it'll be full featured as far as I'm concerned. So what we're doing now is my turn. Uh, there's his site, there's the unexplored site. I can only attack one thing. It's a rule of the game. You can only attack one thing per turn. So see if I try to go here and do an expedition, it kind of eliminates the other one. If I'm doing attack here, it, it eliminates my expedition budget. So uh, it's just to avoid incredibly long turns where there's like 10 different battles that have to be played out. It would be really tedious if everyone could attack like five different places at the same time. So I uh, made it a rule of the game that you can only attack one place. You can You can build stuff on your own bases, multiple bases, but you can only attack one place. So expedition budget. I think I'm going to go here. I have the biggest chance of grabbing this site since he's not so dug in. You can actually see how much money has been invested in the uh, site. And it's uh, 19 or 1900, which is a considerable amount. This place has a little more so far, but um, I'm going to go with the place that has zero invested in it. And there's no dug in brain. So we're going to have a pretty fair fight and I better scan it or it's going to be really tough to see anything around there anyway that's good I have allocated most of my money I have 1200 um, some of it not all n the lesser amount is going to my base and the uh, greater amount is going to this attack so that's what's playing out right now it's showing that I'm spending most of that money building that base he's Spending a lot of money, or yeah, he's spending a lot of money, but he could only build one item. I'm not sure why. Maybe that AI yeah, plan. Anyway, we're both attacking this site, so it's going to be a battle of who can claim this place. So we're scanning for our team, and if he didn't scan for his team, he won't see any of this. Um, if there was a human player on that team, that would matter a lot. And as you can see, this is a completely pristine site. There's nothing here except gold under the surface. So we're just going to land somewhere. And he'll land somewhere also. And you can actually see that this is the story. Yeah, he's landing over here. Wait, 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 Okay, so we want to get some troops down here real quick. Well, that's all I could do now. I still want that gun. Another detail is that you can no longer crush weapons by just standing on them. Makes some exceptions in the physics rules, so you don't have that frustrating situation anymore. And again, you can't shoot each other or dig through each other, which is quite nice. Definitely increases the survivability of your, your guys. See, and he's digging down his guy. He's already dug down into the ground because he's worried about kamikaze attacks. And he's also digging for gold. But that's kind of like the secondary reason to dig is the primary is just to... So I couldn't just fly over here with a, with a rocket and crash into him he would actually have to, uh, or I would have to get in there with a guy and like root him out because a brain that is dug down into the ground like this is a heck of a lot safer. So I really only have two guys to work with. I can't afford any more. And that's one of the beauties of, uh, of the metagame is that not ordering more stuff. I guess he's digging for gold. Like, he's short on money as well. He kind of blew it on this one turret. Dumb move, I think. Or, you know, like he's kind of forcing my hand to come over there and attack him. But now I actually dug up some money, which is nice. As soon as I get that much more, I can borrow some more. Yes. Let me actually show you. There's a mode here. Brain, brain AI. What? It will, uh, helps a lot. Because I don't have to go, you know, this guy will now, on his own, take 
care of navigating over to the brain, the enemy brain, and to kill it. So this is an interesting situation. So the thing with these turrets is that they're really powerful, really fast firing, but they cannot shoot. They have a limited angle of... Woo! That hurts a lot. So I'm just going to distract him with that one. Go with the other one. See if I can... Kill this guy. I sure did. He's ordering new stuff. He dig he dug up stuff. He dug up gold so he can order a new guy. Oh, this is trouble, but I got the jump on him, I think. He's looking kinda of sad. Oh he had a grenade! Is it gonna blow? Nope. Oh <laughs> it blew. I saw him like he was about to throw it, but I shot him in the face before he did. Holy crap, he's this guy made quite a tunnel here. He is armed too, so this is not a completely safe situation. Just need to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh, that's. So what happens when you mess with a brain that has an assault rifle? Let's see if I can buy some more stuff. To a different body I can use? No, that's my cheapest body that's available. Can I save somewhere else? Nope. Yeah. Get some of this good, so maybe I'll help them. So we're, we're having this emerging thing in this game in general is where we've built all these very complex systems and complex kind of game mechanics and verbs where you can dig for gold and you can buy know customize different things you want to buy very very detailed with all these menus and all kinds of stuff and build you know your base on your own and then we just add an automated mode which is either the AI you know, directly controlling your guys or uh -oh, or the AI you know, digging on its own or shooting on its own or building your base on its own okay, it's very let's get a sniper rifle What's the end of that guy? He got distracted by the rocket landing, so he started shooting at that. Oh! And he had a grenade that blew my hat off. <laughs> this guy has no hat anymore. It's kind of fun. Anyway, let's see if we can go and kill that brain. See, even though there's not a lot of guys running around, this is really the way I envisioned Cortex Command to be like. Very squad-sized action, and uh, very uh, very kind of tactical in the way you have to actually think about <laughs> what you're doing, more than just running around as fast as possible and like being accurate shooting. It's It's important still, but it's not the primary what's going to give you a win in this game. It's being more thinking about how you're attacking and what you're attacking with and, and that's why it's okay that things go in slow motion here is because we want to be able to think things through. It is it is a way to handle, I mean, admittedly, it's a way to handle the simulation taking a long time. Whoa! Finally. Alright, well, after a bit of back and forth, we uh, we won this site. And this is a classic, this is exactly the way I would, I would like, you know, I was kind of shooting for in terms of, or was hoping for, that these battles would play out. You know, where, you know, you're limited by resources and, and the AI is limited by his resources. And we're digging for gold desperately, trying to get more resources and we're using those resources immediately to, to attack and defend our respective brains and this is kind of the I'm really happy about this 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 particular battle how it turned out because this is kind of how I uh, envision 
cortex command being really and it's just small scale battles and small scale fights that are uh, limited by budget and limited by the resources you have it's kind of kind of cool um, I enjoy that at least and we won that Met Metancora Highlands are now ours I am excited about that and I'm excited about building a base there for day five we have two bases we're gonna get quite a bit of gold from them that was only one and here's the other awesome we are now rich he's gonna make his a little bit of money of his one base he's definitely still in the game and uh, it's my turn again so what can I do I can build quite a bit of stuff on this one and I will this one I probably won't I'll go in and look at what this base looks like right now and it's quite built out I wish I could see <laughs> since the stuff that was built by the other guy was not you know obviously not built by me it wasn't it wasn't revealed if I had built the stuff it had it would have been revealed here so it's kind of interesting that I can't see all of the base but uh, it's not too bad. I can I can reinforce some things. I can like replace this door, for example. That needs some repair. So that won't be applied until you know the thing actually gets bought. It's just a blueprint at this point. But you can see my valid placement with that path that needs to go to the to the orbit or to the sky. Otherwise, I could just place a brain in the middle of the ground and the enclosed tomb, and that would wouldn't be very fun or fair so there's this rule that you have to have a path to the sky uh, but the brain is pretty secure down there he's got some guys protecting him I'm gonna put in some more deployments which means these places where uh, my guys will appear I should probably put a sniper up here yes cool all right well that's it for now. I'm done designing that base. I probably won't assign that much budget to it anyway. Just a little bit. And then I want to attack him also. Whoa. So I'm going to go in dark just to show you how that looks like. I mean, if I don't scan this, you see, if I don't leave money to scan this site, then so be it. Uh, I will just have to go attack it uh, blindly, so to speak. Unless I scanned it before, I, I forget if I did, and that would be a good icon to have in the in the little scene information. It would be good to have like an icon whether I scanned it or not at some point. But it's not in there right now. So he built up his base, I built up my bases, I am attacking his. There's two battles. This is the first of the two. We're gonna we're gonna fight. Alright, this was actually my original site that I forgot about. That I had originally and so this is the beginnings of my base before and that's one of the cool things about the metagame is that we have persistent scenes the really exciting thing for me is that this base that I built like this he's actually continued building <laughs> It just stopped here before, but now he's obviously continued. There's hints of other things going on there. It's pretty damn neat. It gets me wondering what's going what's going on down there. I'm gonna try to protect my brain as best I can. For some reason, he has not moved his brain deeper into his bunker. He's built his bunker deeper, but not, not built, not moved his brain in. Is, uh... Okay, so there's definitely something going on there. There must be the scene seam here that is causing guys to explode. <laughs> I remember now that my brain exploded there as well. So. Let's look into that. That's that's a problem. 
I'm gonna save this and actually. Save this game and actually debug this later. Go use the debugger of my compiler or development environment. They cannot buy anything more. Whoa, don't throw away your gun, dude. Okay, that's the kind of things that. Oh, it happened again. So yeah, there's there's a death trap right there. Hmm. Wow. Well, that sucks. Gotta save this site. Or you save this game. And that is something you can do at any time. You can always save. Uh, what would you call that? Gib bug. My save game. Well, he's attacking me. I did not successfully attack the site, so... It remains his. It was mine originally. Now it's his. So this is the site I built up a little bit. I... To my dismay... <laughs> my deployment... Close quarter deployment. As you can see, the doors are repaired. Which is something I requested, or I, I put in as... But... Oh, and he landed straight on top of my base. That's fun. Oh, I have negative gold. It's also fun. This guy still has all his guns and stuff. That's cool. Okay, so he's he's uh not holding back. He's about to attack with the big Gatling gun guy. Let's we'll see how my little zombie clone can handle him. Oh, this is How about that? Yes. yes. <laughs> My other guy also had a Gatling, so. Didn't go too well for him. So I'm going to try to drop some stuff. Fortunately, you don't have to worry so much about... Oh, there is some fun stuff here. A grenade right now. <laughs> that would be delicious. Toss out at him. Oh, too far. Suck. You can appreciate that, I guess. Let's so his little face down. Mm. Oh, it's a gun, gun fight. Hand gun fight. What's going on? Oh. Yeah, it's brutal. Well, okay, if it comes up here, it's gonna be assault rifle to the face. Shot my hat off. Well <laughs> I use the ultimate close quarters combat tool, which is Pull sticker. And that kind of finished that fight pretty quickly. Don't know if he still has any gold to attack with. If not, I'm gonna have to go out and take care of business. Pick up all that stuff. I'm gonna do some of that stuff actually. I'm gonna do that as well. Because this Sniper rifle is definitely something you want up there. I don't have maybe this guy. I think this is the guy I'm gonna go out and actually kill his brain with. Seems like he's run out of gold to attack me with. So it's time.
time to attack him. This would be a, a situation where he would actually try to, and I have not implemented this yet, but it's it's about to be. Hopefully I'll make it into the uh, build 27. Oh, I hear a rocket. I hear a landing craft. He's coming down. Something new. He must have built, he must have gotten enough. Whoa. Stop throwing grenades. Willy nilly. Oh, hi. You weren't invited. Awesome great machines, all right. <laughs> okay, come on. So, obviously, we are too heavy. Don't need that. We don't need that. Ooh, here he is. Came down on his own. I think I just threw a grenade. Very dangerous. Oh, the other guy just threw a grenade. The AI just threw a grenade. Beautiful. Should explode any second. No, I guess not. But we win. He got desperate and started attacking me with his brain, which is kind of suicidal. So what I was about to say before is that he would typically, at that point, when he's out of money and out of guys, uh, in such a desperate situation, he would pro he would want to try to evacuate his brain, which means ordering down an empty rocket, which is cheap, and he hopefully would still be able to afford, and then jump his brain, run the, run the brain over to the rocket, and the rocket would wait for him with the doors open. He would jump into it, and the rocket would take off into the sky, and uh, he would retain his brain. That would be something that would be important when brains actually matter as a resource, and that is not the case yet, but it will be soon. So gold will be one resource and brains will be the other resource, which is even scarcer. Uh, you only have, you will only have a set number of brains every every turn or every metagame start and uh, it's finite. It does not replenish unless you steal brains from other other guys, which we just, we'll see if we'll actually get around to implementing, but that would be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, so, end of day. Day six. We still have two bases. He still has one base. We're going to skip that counting of money, which is kind of boring to watch. Uh, you can skip any other phases if they get tiresome. So we're going to invest some more defenses in each place and attack his place. Hopefully, wipe him out. No, we'll, we'll do them later. No, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, anyway. I already scanned that three times over. <laughs> I mean, there is a point to rescanning places if, if for some reason... Well, that's a good point. When he builds stuff, he really should hide things for you. Like, it, hide, it should hide areas. That's a good, I'll write that down right now. Attacking after building bases. So we're back here. I'm gonna land in my old spot. But now it seems he has moved his brain further down. Down in the darkness down there. I'm trying to get my brain in safety. I'm gonna order down some guys. Whoops. Guess that's what we can do. There's definitely a scene right here. Shit. So who knows if I'm gonna actually be able to. Get through there without exploding. Fuck, I made it. Woo! 
Oh. Whoa. Okay. There's definitely a guy over there. He's prone. I'm using this door as a shield. And his weapon's out of commission. He was, he was spinning up a spinning up a Gatling gun. It took too long. friendly guy. We'll see if he'll make it. It's very iffy. He's going to make this transition. Oh, you made it. Nice. Well, he's just mad at this door over here. Ooh, there's another guy up here. I think the way to take care of him is to dig his face off. <laughs> dig it! <laughs> That's how you do it. This is actually an excellent way to reach. Well, I guess not. Oh, I have a phone call. My phone's ringing. Please hang. Telemarketer just called me. Sorry. Well, this doesn't go anywhere, so I'm not sure why I'm. Why the guy is using a submachine gun from way too far away. Which will not have any effect. He buried himself in casings while doing so. Alright. See, submachine guns. Bullets actually decelerate so quickly that they're not very effective at all. But. Whoa! Hello! Surprise! Whoa! <laughs> I'm safe! Oh, jeez! Okay, I'm not as safe as I thought. Oh, he bled out. What a hero. What a goddamn hero that was. Grenade went off right behind his back and blew away his cover. Okay, how do we take care of this guy? Submachine gun. In the face! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, it's not working! Oh. Well then, what are our options now? Ah, oh, jeez. We'll just have to land a guy without any guns and I'll have to pick up some guns. I don't have any more. I think my brain should go dig stuff. So we can get some gold somewhere. I could just walk in here. I don't want to risk that seam exploding his face again. <laughs> See if we'll even make it through here. It's like a gamble each time. Ah, I made it. <laughs> nice. It blew up four guys like in a row for me, and now it's being kind again. Oh, physics bugs. Okay, so shotgun is actually a pretty good idea for here. Let's see if we can actually hit that guy in the face. Like that. He won't have time to spool up his weapon. And the door just closed. Because he detected that friend of ours standing there. He wasn't standing there anymore. Wow, how many doors are we talking here? Some serious protection here for this brain. Careful, door, door pieces are dangerous. Oh yeah, end game. 
Boom. That was fun. That was rewarding. Look at this base. Isn't that awesome? And it gets built out a lot more than this too. If you keep pouring money into this, we have we have these bases designed, uh, pre-designed to be pretty massive. The guys on the content team have done an awesome job filling them out, and they're still working on it. So it's going to be quite a nice package for you guys when you get to play this in a couple of days. He is attacking me. I have all three sites now. So he's atta he's desperate attacking me. He's got 600 or whatever that is to attack me with. A couple of guys at least. But I have a pretty sizable base here. He's going to be have a hard time getting in here. And here he comes. Landing right on top of me. Guy's just gonna start digging gold on his own. That was cool. I don't mind that at all. Carry on, sir. Alright, well, he's dug in again. And here's the actual troops. I'm gonna try to get into this thing. Good luck, buddy. Fit for you right there. And he's gonna have a hell of a welcoming committee. Especially if he's gonna use the things. Oh! Hi! <laughs> and that'll make him think twice. This is definitely how I envisioned this game when I was making it. Much slower, much more thoughtful than an action shooter. Maybe not quite this slow, <laughs> but I just hope you have a little more. Oh, 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 don't, oh, that just looks so painful. Shot his nads off. One of his legs, too. Enough of that, fool. I'm not sure if he has any more gold now. Go light here. Try to fly up and say hello to his brain. <laughs> Put a grenade on me, so this could be fun. Oh dear. That snow is hard to move through <laughs> for my heavy guy. There's the grenade! <laughs> oh! That is awesome. Ah, uh, he was digging gold in there, on top of my base. I didn't appreciate that. Dropped, dropped a little pineapple on him. That's how it goes. And I win. Yeehaw! So that was kind of fun. That's a full meta game for you with some problems and some uh, bugs some pretty severe bugs but hey I played a whole game and I actually had quite a bit of fun playing it don't know if it showed but I sure did so um, there you have it this is a preview of build 27 of Cortex Command it is coming out in a couple of days one little uh, thing to remember is or to note is that we are now uh, selling the game for half the pr the previous price which is uh, now very low nine dollars and it's only until until we release this so uh, you can grab the game and all future updates and uh, versions 
right now for nine dollars on our website datarealms.com or cortexcommand.com and uh, it will give you again all the future updates so if you uh, act fast you can get this game for uh, less than half of what it's going to cost eventually and I say less than half because our price is not going to bump, bump back to eighteen dollars it's going to bump to more than eighteen dollars now we are reducing the discount uh, since our game is becoming more and more complete and so the discount is going uh, bye bye uh, gradually but uh, bill 27 is gonna be 20 bucks I think uh, we haven't decided yet but it will be more than $18 uh, we will then also uh, bump the 1.0 even more and uh, again if you buy it now for nine dollars you will get all those versions for nine dollars which is not a bad deal so jump on that and uh, hope you like this video I had fun playing it and so uh, keep an eye out for build 27 in uh, a couple of days over and out and have fun